Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stos. So this past week I had a lot of opportunity to travel and I was sitting in my seat 4A on my Delta flight from Toronto to Minneapolis and had the opportunity to look out the window and see a different perspective. You know, I've been in Minneapolis or Minnesota for um, some vacations and had the opportunity to be at some different lakes. And, you know, when you're in the lake and having fun and with your family, uh, you're just right there enjoying it and seeing it, you know, just go on and on the water. You know, that whole view just, you can't even see the end. But when you're up in the plane, the view that you have of the water and the lakes, I mean, there's just multiple lakes and just seeing how, how large they are, but then seeing numbers of them and how there's some dividing, you know, of course, land between the two. And that just provided me a different perspective. Also, I've had the opportunity this past uh, month to go to the College World Series here in Omaha, where we have a chance to see lots of great teams play baseball. And you know, you're sitting in your seat and you're watching the game and of course everybody's rooting their team on. And then there's that call, that call that there's disagreement upon because someone thought it was out and somebody else thought it was safe. And then you watch the replay and maybe from your angle you thought they were safe. And then you watch that replay and guess what? They were out. It was a different perspective, a different angle to see that view. Also, I've you know, spent some time with my uh, son on, te on the telephone this week. He uh, is in uh, doing mission trips around the country and he's gone on these mission trips for the past four years and been a participant and had the opportunity to work and give his time and service and and this year he is a, uh, a, a manager a program manager for the mission trip group where he's on the other side where he has a chance to um, sponsor the kids and, and help with the program and he's just said to me, Mom, wow, I had no idea. I sure got a different view. I had a different perspective of what goes on on the mission trips from the other side. And I also think back when we look at our kids when they were little and drawing pictures, and they would always draw, you know, people with really long legs. And you'd wonder why are they, they make you look really, really tall. When you think about it, they're looking from their perspective, right? They see all these tall people because they're very short, and they see these long legs because that's what they see first, a different perspective. So today, obviously, we're going to talk about perspective. There's many perspectives that we have on numbers of things. So when I tell you those stories, you probably stop and think, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I can tell, you know, something different from a different view. And we think that's very obvious in, in our life. But then when you think about perspectives of working with people, and we think about the conflict in the workplace, or when someone's not getting along, or when somebody wants to approach a project in a different way, we forget about perspective. We need to step back and really think about, oh, well, I might, they might not agree with that person, but they may be providing you a different perspective that you haven't noticed before. So where do these perspectives come from? Well, first, obviously, we've all had different experiences. We all have different backgrounds in terms of our knowledge and our experience in different jobs. Our belief systems, you know, our beliefs and values also drive a lot of that for us. And also what I call our, our um, perspective, our view, or our filter of how we see things from our personality and our wiring perspective. We all are wired very different. Many of you have dealt with me with StrengthsFinder, and you know that, you know, that top five strengths, it's a one in 250,000 chance that anybody has the same top five as you in any order, and one in 33 million that anyone has the same top five as you. So we know the view that we see something through, that angle, that perspective, is going to be very different. So instead, you know, when we, we're having a little bit conflict with someone or we want to do something a different way, there's not always one way to do things, right? There's many different ways, many different approaches, but maybe take some time to think about what perspective someone might be providing you. So when we look at that is, I think the biggest piece is understanding the goal, the goal that we're working to accomplish, accomplish and then how do we bring those perspectives together. Some of us like to have a plan from the very beginning and know that here's the plan and here's how we're going to do it. Others don't need as big of a plan. They know where they're heading and they know how they're going to get there. They'll figure it out. And so that makes some people nervous. Again, that comes from our different views. That comes from our different filters on how we look at things. No different than how you see the, that lake from up above versus being down on the ground. Some of our talents are really, really good at seeing big picture. Where are we going? Where are we taking this? What's the vision of this company? What's the vision of this product? project where some of us are better at being on the ground and delivering and going, you know what, here's steps A through Z of what we need to do to get this project launched. 
So how can we really bring the two together and work together to accomplish that? So I think we really need to step back and understand that perspectives provide us a lot of different views, different angles, and um, for us to take that into consideration, we're even going to get a better product at the end of the day for anything that we're working on, whether that's even in, in a personal situation with a family, a listening to our spouses or our partners, it just gives us a different view of maybe how to approach something. So for positive charge this week, first step back and, and take some time to think of what perspective means to you. Think of some different ways that you've looked at something, even personally or professionally. And second, take some time to really step back this week when you're working with someone and they provide you a point of view that maybe you're not in agreement with or don't have time for, to say, let me step back for one minute to understand their perspective. Maybe we can make this even better together by having both perspectives. So perspective is, allows us a, a point of view, an angle, a different way of seeing things. Be open. Sometimes there's things right in front of us that we're not seeing because we aren't open to a perspective. Thanks for joining us today and remember to get your mind on. <laughs>